Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three concentric uh, semicircles. This one, uh, this one, uh, with this one, with a common uh, center O, oh, as you can see in this diagram, such that uh, this A, B is the code of this uh, big uh, semicircle. And this uh, code A, B is uh, tangent to this uh, medium uh, semicircle. And moreover, this uh, AB code is 888 uh, units long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, region, as you can see over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, big uh, semicircle i am going to label it uh, as our biggest uh, semicircle this uh, middle one i am going to label this one uh, as our medium semicircle and finally this uh, smallest one i am going to label this one uh, as the small uh, semicircle and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, code uh, AB is only messing uh, with this uh, big uh, semicircle and this uh, middle one. So therefore, we are going to ignore this uh, smallest uh, semicircle. And now let's assume that this uh, is the radius of this uh, biggest uh, semicircle. I'm going to label this one as our uppercase R. And likewise, uh, I'm going to label uh, this uh, medium uh, semicircle uh, as uh, lowercase uh, r. So therefore, uh, this lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, medium semicircle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, purple shaded region uh, area is equal to the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle. We are talking about this whole uh, area of this uh, big uh, semicircle whose uh, radius is uppercase r minus uh, the area of this uh, medium uh, semicircle we are talking about uh, this uh, semicircle uh, areas whose uh, radius uh, is uh, lowercase r so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, biggest uh, semicircle and likewise, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, medium semicircle uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, biggest uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where this uppercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, biggest uh, semicircle. And since we are dealing with these uh, semicircles, so therefore, uh, the area of the semicircle is going to be this uh, area by uppercase r square and I'm going to divide that one by 2. So therefore uh, this big uh, semicircle area is going to become uh, pi uppercase uh, r square divided by 2. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, medium uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area equals to pi r square, where this lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, medium uh, semicircle. So therefore, the area of the semicircle is going to be simply this uh, area, pi lowercase uh, r square. And now we are going to divide this one by 2. So therefore, uh, the area of this medium semicircle is going to be pi times uh, lowercase uh, r square divided by 2 and here's our next step i have connected uh, this point of tangency p with this uh, center o and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, opb is going to be 90 degrees since uh, this uh, AB is the tangent line and this uh, OP is the radius. And now let's make an observation. We can see this OP is the radius uh, of this uh, medium semicircle. And we know the radius of this medium semicircle is uh, lowercase r. So therefore, the radius of this uh, 
so my circle is going to be lowercase r so therefore uh, our this uh, op length uh, is lowercase r and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord as you can see in this uh, given problem this uh, a b is the chord and this uh, radius uh, o p is uh, perpendicular to this uh, chord so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, a p is going to be equal to this segment uh, b p in other words uh, these two segments are congruent if this whole uh, chord a b is uh, 888 then this uh, segment uh, a p is going to be half of that one is going to be 444 and likewise this uh, bp segment is going to be 444 uh, as well and in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, b and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, o p b and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, o b length uh, is uh, the radius uh, of this uh, big uh, semicircle so therefore uh, this o b is going to be our uppercase r and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, OPB and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, uppercase R and our other two legs are uh, lowercase R and uh, 444 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we are going to write down uh, 400 uh, 44 uh, whole uh, square plus uh, lowercase r whole uh, square equals to uppercase r whole square and now i am going to subtract uh, lowercase r square from both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, uppercase r whole square minus uh, lowercase uh, r square is going to be equal to 197 136 and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and here's our final step let's recall this uh, equation once again the purple shared region area equals to the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle which is uh, pi uppercase r squared divided by 2 minus uh, the area of uh, the medium uh, semicircle which is uh, pi lowercase r squared divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so therefore our purple shared region uh, area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 minus uh, pi lowercase uh, r square divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see pi divided by 2 and pi divided by 2 they are common so therefore i can write uh, this one as uh, pi divided by 2 times in the parentheses uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square and now we know that uh, uppercase r square minus lowercase r square is uh, 197136 so therefore i am going to substitute over here so this is going to become 197136 and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 98 uh, 5 uh, 68 uh, times uh, pi square units so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded region turns out to be 98568 uh, times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 309660.5 uh, square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye